Hello and welcome to all of our viewers from around the world. We have quite a game in prospect here, just waiting for the players to emerge, and we will be underway. I'm your commentator, Peter Drury, and providing his unique brand of expert analysis, here's Jim Beglin. Glad to be here, Peter, and I'm ready to rumble. Are the lineups we've just been given? Number 17, Green. Number 15, Steve Young. Number 9, Yen Hitler. Got things on the way. Sim Dion. Looks like a good ball through. And the defence can get it clear. It'll be a throw in. Blint. Thrust towards the front line. Dinks one in. Oh, delightful ball. And he's made sure that that won't get through. Spoon forward. Great run this, he's covered quite a distance. Now can he finish? Can he deliver? Keeps everyone guessing. Jan Huntelaar decides to play it back. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Now the pass. Looks to slip it through. Has gone out. Throw in. Keeper's got good distance on that. Oh, good interception. Huntelaar passes it through. Now here's the through ball. Neither side yet able to find the net. Tadic knocks it towards the front. Deftly done. Can he score? And that really should have hit the net. Right in front of goal like that, and he's gone and missed it. I won't have to tell him that's not good enough. Who's going to make this theirs? Pumps it forwards. Huntala. Huntala! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Oh, he made that look really easy, Peter, but I can assure you that wasn't a, a routine save. He had to be very switched on there. Jan Huntala with the ball through. It was all about the quality of the delivery, and they come away with nothing. 
Tadic pumps it upfield. Now here's the through ball. Blint. Tries a through ball. Huntelaar. And out to safety. Not long till half-time, and it is still goalless. Huntelaar can't hurt you with his back to goal, and I think if they can keep him facing in that direction, then the only thing he can do, really, is to just lay the ball off, and, and he's not really going to cause much trouble if he continues doing that, so I think they're defending him very, very well. Tadic looks to dink one in. The captain scores! And as usual, the skipper has put a lot of effort and endeavour into that goal and now provides a platform to take that fresh impetus into the second half and go on and try and win this contest. That's wonderfully done. Crisp hit, true finish. Look. Volleys can be worked on and improvements can be made, but in the moment, it takes timing and balance to catch the perfect spot on the ball to produce brilliance like that. That is absolutely magnificent. Ajax get themselves into the lead. And that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on. Blint boots it upfield. It's a fabulous position. It's there. And they are disappearing out of sight. <laughs> He was urged to shoot, and he duly delivered. Yeah, and teamwork was key to that. A beautiful piece of uh, engineering to, to set him free in the box. There is the half-time whistle. How do you look back on the first 45 minutes? Ajax looked good for their lead. Um, as soon as they went ahead, they took full advantage of, of a loss of concentration and, and landed a second blow before recovery from the first. Uh, it's kicking them while they're down, and, and it's got to be done. Ajax sitting pretty here at half-time, 2-0 up. So, off we go once more. Forward it goes. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Tadic spreads it wide. They've managed to get it away. Gets into some space. Tim de Jong, aimed long and direct. Tries to dink it in. That's ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. 
Tadic. Cuts it out. No, no way through there. Sim Dion. Tries to get it forward quickly. Clears it out of harm's way. Comes sliding in. Oh, he's caught him there. It's a free kick. The referee has resisted the temptation to go to his pocket. It's just a stern lecture. Ambitious, to say the least. He seemed to be in a hurry to get that in. This defence just doesn't trust itself to, to play a higher line. Frighten the people getting in behind. Yeah, absolutely. It just opens up the opportunity of not only strikers getting behind, but the runners from midfield too. Ajax with this handy-looking 2-0 lead. They are looking comfortable. Aim forward. Tadic. Jan Huntelaar is effectively being marked out of the game here. Yeah, and they finally reacted, but they could have been more switched on before he, he scored. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. It's a long forward pass. Aimed long and direct. Looks to play him in, but uh, a minor communications breakdown. Final checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. That's a poor kick by the keeper, he's just given it straight back. Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. Well, it did look promising to start with, but in the end they were thwarted before they could even make it into the final third. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. And it's Huntelaar. Tadic needed to come up with a better ball. The idea was good, though, Peter, and I like the run that triggered the pass. Oh, that's a foul. Free kick's been given. <laughs> oh, glorious footwork! Pumps it upfield. Jan Huntelaar puts his foot on the gas. Promising move, that. Good inroads into enemy territory, but no joy. Done very well to intervene. Yet another to add to football's endless list of could-haves and should-haves. Yeah, I think the problem there was that the pass was, was telegraphed. An easy read for the defence. Aimed in towards the centre. That's well blocked, and back out it comes. Good idea, just poorly executed. Not much subtlety, he's launched himself there. He's done well to tidy up the situation. Well, that looks a foul, yep, referee's given it. There's obvious upset over that challenge, you can see the players face to face. Let's hope this doesn't escalate. about it spectacular header he really flung himself at that you know it takes a lot of courage to do that to throw yourself at the ball knowing you could catch a boot in the head well done son This is threatening to become a really good game. Well, they've given themselves a chance here, but now it's a case of getting the balance right between attack and defence, and that's not easy. He can get that clear. Passes it through. Well, he's got the ball glued to his feet. 
That's a throw. Ajax look as though they're about to make a change. I think you have to admire his willingness to keep plugging away, but the manager has, has done him a big favour, I think, by, by taking him off. You know, he was looking very, very leggy. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. That's gone a long way up and away. Ajax just have to run down the clock. Tadic. That has put a stop to that. Floats one over. Keeper's ball. Tadic. Sim Dion. Jan Huntelaar pushes it out wide. Now it's Huntelaar. Plays it out to the flank. How about it? He scored! Two up and threatening to pull clear. Jim, your thoughts? Well, he made it obvious as to where the pass should be played, Peter, and it made the finish look that bit easier. Well, it's an inspired substitution. Terrific move by the boss. That's how you make an impact as a sub. You know, when most are tiring, you can impose a freshness and energy to best effect. What an introduction. Ajax could not have picked a better time to snatch a two-goal lead. Is there still time for a response? Jan Huntelaar tries a long pass towards the front. Tries the route one option. Tries to stroke it through. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Loose ball, who's going to get that? Yeah, it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. So they bask in their win, a genuinely professional performance and a result which is well-deserved. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? It's a victory that ticks a lot of boxes for me, um, particularly across midfield where I thought they were very industrious. And um, I think this has turned into a very efficient win. So that's it from us. Many thanks go to Jim Beglin and goodbye from us. Yes, Rick Strong. Please report to the start.